Hey friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we're going to solve the second problem of week three of CS50, which is plurality, right? Once you come this come to this website, cs50.harvard.edu, forward slash x, forward slash 2025. And then once you click here, week three, come down, problem set three. This is the problem that we're going to solve, the second one, plurality, click here. Okay, so basically if you read the description, what you will see is this is a election problem. So let me pause this the program should be executed this way first we have to make plurality of course and then dot for slash plurality when we are executing the program in the command line we have to pass the name of the candidates so alice bob and charlie are the candidates and then we are supposed to ask the number of voters right and once we have that whoops okay once we have the number of the voters uh, we will prompt so if there are three voters we will prompt the user three times the first voter votes whatever the user is alice the second voted alice the third one voted bob so we'll print the winner which is basically alice because she was voted twice similarly uh number of voters three and if somebody votes for a candidate which is not really in the candidate list then we are supposed to print invalid vote right but even then we are not going to prompt the same voter again so as you can see here one two three we only prompted thrice right invalid vote it's gone great so alice is the winner here too however if you see here alice bob charlie three voters alice bob charlie if there are no winners or if all of them have same number of votes then we'll print all of those names right and similarly there's one last case which is if this happens if the user executes a program without any command line arguments then we'll print this wonderful cool so this is done the way we are going to solve this problem is by coming down first we'll need to download the distribution code but even before that we'll go to cs50.dev and we'll log in once you do that this is the screen that you're going to see so we created week 3 folder in the last video if you haven't watched that and if you need help with that make sure to watch it in the channel and then we'll say first we'll go to week 3 and then list okay we have this so the next thing that we're going to do is come down here we'll copy this entire command which is our distribution code this is the code that is given to us and we are going to use the distribution code to solve our problem so we'll just paste it here press enter it's run we have a plurality dot zip and now we'll say unzip plurality press enter okay we have a folder now let's remove the plurality dot zip file y for yes all right ls okay so let's go to plurality folder and then ls okay let's code plurality dot c so that we can see the code all right wonderful let me hide this let me move this down so what you will see is first we will need to understand the entire code base so basically a max variable is de uh, defined which is a global variable right and this is a constant once whenever we are using has defined and then a particular integer that is a global variable and it is a constant we are not supposed to change that we are not allowed to right and then we have a candidate structure defined which has two items it has a string called name and then it has an integer value called votes wonderful and then we have an array of candidates of size 9 meaning if the size of the candidate list is over 9 then we are not going to execute the program anymore wonderful int candidate count blah 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 if you want you can read the entire things but the problem that we are supposed to solve is these two functions the first thing that we are supposed to check is whether or not the vote is valid as in if you come back here remember up top somewhere okay so if the vote david was invalid which is this because david is not in the candidate list up here then we are supposed to print invalid vote but we don't really have to worry about the printing thing we just have to check whether or not the vote is valid so how do we check that so we have an array called candidates it has two attributes dot name and dot votes so what we can do to check for invalid votes is whatever name the user enters while voting we will compare that in this array 
like whether or not the name exists and if it exists we'll return true and if we have completed the loop through the candidates array and if we have not returned true then by default we will return false wonderful so to do that what we will do is also check here string name we are only receiving the name variable as in the name that the user entered we are not receiving candidates here right but since candidates is a global variable it is defined outside the main function we are able to access it in any function that's great so we'll come here and we'll say for i hold on for int i equals zero and we'll say n equals candidate count we also have this particular variable defined globally okay candidate count is here line 20 something okay once that is done let's come down here and then we'll say while i is less than n i plus plus okay cool so what we're going to do is we will loop through the candidates array right so we'll say if string compare str cmp because we are going to compare the strings and hopefully we already have the string header file yes we do line 3 so we'll say if string compare candidates i whoops candidates i dot name comma and then the other thing that we're going to check is name if this returns zero which means that they are the same if this happens then we are going to return true else we are going to return false if we have completed the loop and we have not been able to return true which means that the name does not really exist in the candidates list so it is an invalid vote right another thing to do here is we are also supposed to update the vote totals right so what that means is for this particular candidate if like the name matches then we'll say candidates i dot votes it is a votes not vote i think yep candidate i dot votes mm, plus plus so it will basically add it will increase the vote votes count by one great so we have solved this problem right looks like it yep if there's an issue we'll solve it later but i think this is correct anyway we'll come down and then we are supposed to print the winner or winners of the election and then we are supposed to do this let me move the return okay so this does not have any return value it's void and it also doesn't have anything that is coming in so the only thing that we are going to use is the candidates array which is a global variable right so how are we going to solve this problem one of the easiest way is to keep count or basically to make a note of what is the largest value that we have found what is the largest number of votes that we have found so the way to solve this problem is first we are going to find the highest votes and then what we will do is we will loop through the candidates list again and if votes i if the votes of the ith candidate is equals to the highest vote then we will print the name okay so the very first thing that we are going to do is we are going to look through the program first we are going to look through the candidates list by doing the same thing again so let me just do this i can copy this i'll come down here i'll paste it here so we will remove this and what we will do is we'll first define a variable called int highest is equals to zero we'll start from a zero because if we don't assign a value here then it might have a garbage value which might break the program so we'll say if the candidates the if the ith candidates votes is greater than highest right which is zero as of now then what we want to do is we want to change the value of highest to be equal to candidates i dot votes right and if it's not then we will move on right so this will give us the highest number of vote of the entire candidate list and then we want to look through the candidates list again to figure out if the candidates vote is equals to the highest vote and if it is 
what we are going to do is we are going to say printf we'll say percent is s backslash n because we want the next line to be printed in the next line right all done come here yep if there are multiple winners or if all the candidates have the same number of words then next line after their name and then we'll say comma and then we want to print candidates ith candidates name right hopefully this should work so let me say make plurality press enter no errors which is wonderful and then we'll basically let me just copy this alice charlie bob i'll put it here press enter number of voters let's say three let's say alice gets the first vote second alice again and third vote let's say b gets which does not really exist so the b gets invalid vote wonderful and the winner is alice so what if if we do the same thing but there are four voters and the first one votes alice the second one also votes alice the third one votes bob and the final voter also votes for bob there are two winners right so basically our logic is correct so what we're going to do next is we are going to come down towards the bottom and we'll check the correctness of the program so we'll come here paste it press enter and then let's wait for a moment and hopefully this should work so waiting for results let me expand this all right there we go we have all greens which means our logic for everything is correct so we'll copy the style command if we want to but what i like to do again is click on style 50 up top right top corner looks good wonderful so we'll copy the submit code come back here paste it here press enter and let's wait for a moment and then we'll ask we'll be asked if we want to submit it yes we do press enter and we can check the score by clicking here command click or control click press on open and then waiting on results okay there we go we get a full point for our logic and then our style 50 also gives us a full point which is wonderful so this is how we solve the plurality problem of week 3 of cs50 similarly if you want to watch all the other problem sets make sure to click on the playlist that is currently on the screen being displayed i will see you in the next video until then take care